There she lies, boys. The mother load of all the buildings. The main one. The one we came here to see. So the prison we're going to is super big. It's like a whole college campus. It has a gym, it has a church, it has many other buildings here. It had its own water tower. And there's actually tons of history on this place, but first we gotta see if we can even go there because we're just walking up to it right now. We don't even know anything if we can't even go up to it yet. We're gonna find out. A dead deer, a dead <laughs> I'm surprised no one picked deer. it up. I do want to apologize. I am not in my element right now. I'm on one hour of sleep. I literally flew here and we just started hitting up this place right away. Like this is our first place and it's gonna be our last one for the day because I literally am just falling asleep everywhere. I don't know why, but like my flight was at 7 a.m. But I didn't go to bed till, I don't know, I think it was 3 a.m. and I only got one hour to sleep. I woke up at four and I had to get to the airport. It was so bad, my time management is so bad. But I'm happy to be exploring. I'm just not enjoying the cult. The architecture on these buildings look really cool for being a prison. You know what I wanna do more than all this? That are I really want to get some deep dish, like really bad. Deep dish. That's that's without a doubt. That's <laughs> a half an hour, a half an hour away from Jose's house. We are putting that order in. We're gonna have nice, warm deep dish pizza oh. and a nice house salad sitting waiting for me. I really can't wait. Yeah, there's this place and wait, Cicero called Al's. Mm -hmm. Is that where you guys going? I don't know. They have the best that's pizza, awesome. the best pasta. Oh my god. Ah, oh, dude. It's so good. Guys, last time I came to Chicago, we ordered this random, I don't know, deep dish pizza, but it was the best pizza I have ever had in my life. So a few stories about this place is that one of them was in 1994, two cops actually got in trouble, well, they're security guards, because they actually had like relationships with some of the women here that were prisoned here. Remember, this was an all women's prison. Uh, another thing about this place is that this place actually did execute some of the prisoners. There were death row here, so things like that did happen. And I think that stopped in 2011. And what else do I know about this place? Hmm. Oh, exactly. Um, I don't know how I forgot this one. So 5% of the prisoners here actually all had AIDS. So, and what happened was is uh, the government was trying to push like an order where like everyone that stays here have to get like an AIDS test. But apparently the, the, it, it all got taken down and that didn't happen because they wanted to use the money for fighting crime instead. So a lot of people were just getting more diseases and more diseases and everybody was just- Now we're in the middle of this whole entire complex. We have a gym right there, a church right here, maybe some wards down there, and over here, just a bunch of other houses. I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, there's something about cottages. They were talking about cottage houses that fitted like eight people, prisoners per cottage. That the could be- that. Yeah, that could have been one of them. Yeah, the good, yeah. Some of the, the good people that were still bad. The workers. Yeah. The farm here. And those are the guys that worked on the farm. They were they were good enough to be able to work on the farm and like handy enough to be able to be out in the fields and stuff. Yay. Get it. First building of the prison and there is power on and it's heated. It's a vacation at this point right now. Oh, wow. It's not a gymnasium. What is, is it? Is it a gym? Oh, it is a gymnasium. Oh. There's not a single bit of graffiti out here. Oh, that was loud. It's gonna be Max climbing the roof being crazy. You hear him? It's like yeah. a squirrel. So, you can just, what, is it just randomly calling someone? Maybe calling someone through there? I don't know. Yo, you guys know what this is? Visitation, yeah. yeah like you said, dude. Really? I assume that they would have the people that were locked up inside of here. Locked oh, yeah, all right, yeah, good. All right, this is there, and then they spoke hey. to them through here. Can you hear me through that? See, I know it was right. Guys, all I really want is a deep dish pizza. Like, I just can't I wait to want. eat it right now. Explorers, I am literally about like 20% here in my mind right now. The rest of me is just zoned out. I feel like I'm watching myself through a movie. Like I'm sitting in a movie theater and I'm just watching myself on the big screen. So zoned out, I definitely need some sleep. 
And this is just all part of the game, literally all part of the traveling. And I do not like filming in the cold, but that deep dish pizza is calling me. So I'm working hard for it right now. See, Max Powers is investigating. He goes to these places and he's just checking out all the history. Go to strange just, places. Yup, just getting a feel for the spot. A true urban explorer. Yo. No oh, dude, they. Stop, man. Yo, they really do work. Yeah. I need, I need $10,000 bail, bro. Uh, $10,000 bail? Look at that, hear it. Hey, top. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is a, you, you ain't the kind of person I want to hang with, man. I gotta go. <laughs> Sun's coming down. Daylight savings. Damn it. What is? You know what? It's like it's like it's like an aftermarket one where you can like fit it into any hallway, basically. HR machine. Oh no, guys! Not the security door. Yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> I didn't know why it's even over there, right? Yeah, it's just crazy. randomly there. Oh, they cleared it. Oh. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, you can still smell the burntness. Look at the mannequin, dude. That is freaky. Oh my god. Look, look, look down here. It's a full. Oh god, yeah, no. Like yeah, but look at him. It's a pretty legit mannequin, man. have a creepy face. Yeah, this, this might be the best mannequin I've ever seen. Yeah, it does have a really cool look to it. It's like some guy trying to build Frankenstein. It's got my arm. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh. <laughs> I found my new girlfriend. Yeah, I give her some hair. <laughs> Wait, give her some hay hair. <laughs> oh, like, dude, when you actually give her some hair, it actually could really look like a girl, though. Uh -huh. Like, if you look quick. Oh, it's just weird looking at it through the camera, though. Like, it, jeez. Really is creepy. It's the most yeah. legitimate mannequin I've ever seen. I'm actually really feeling this place. This right here, it just looks like a cinematic from the TV show. We're walking right up to the freaking main jail. Um, so yeah, like, this is my first day. First day videos are always slow because it's like you just landed off the plane, you're tired and I only have one hour of sleep. So that's why this is just like really bad and it's just not really artistic at all and it's actually just a regular basic vlog. But I am exploring with Josh and I am exploring and I love making YouTube videos. Uh, did I miss anything? Huh? Oh no, that's if I missed anything. Oh no. Uh, nice. Yo, yeah, this is really modern. It's something that I've actually never seen except on the movies. A cell block that actually looks like this. <laughs> I don't want to go to jail. This is awesome. Definitely makes the video for sure. This is a first time for me to see any kind of thing like this. Let's go inside this one. Well, at least this one actually shows the sink in the toilet. Wide open. The security guard can just peep in through the window. That's so awkward. This is a whole nother side. A whole, this is the blue side of the jail. And this is the one we explored over here. This is the green one. It's really big. You know, obviously you guys seen the outside. And this is the red block. So there's already three, and what's this one? And the orange block, maybe. Look at that, it's getting super dark. There's just so much cell block here, though. That's awesome. And they're all the same, they're just different colors, just so y'all know. Nothing's, no one has a special room here. 
All right, Explorers, we just got done filming this whole prison video. We just got out of prison. What is the first thing we gotta do as we just bust out of prison? We're gonna get some deep dish pizza. What are talking about? This is what we waited for, man. That's what's up. This is We've been talking about it all day long. Look at that, dude. It's leaking out. It is. Literally bleeding it out. It is a great crust. Everything about it. My God. This is pretty beautiful. This it's really nice. This is literally all I needed all day. I didn't have to explore today. All I needed was to eat the deep dish pizza. So it's a good way to end today's video. Oh my God. Every bite is just like Lord Jesus in the mouth. <laughs> all right, I'm ending this vlog here today. Vlog or abandoned video, I don't know what to call it anymore, but. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is just a basic video. This is just a start. Tomorrow, the day begins. Getting up as much place as possible can. What up, explorers? Right now, it is about to get dark, and I'm like, do I want to film this video? I don't know if I want to post this video or not yet. I'm not sure. I'm not prepared. I only came up to take photos. But I'm out here at this airplane graveyard, but it's not just any airplane graveyard. It's a U.S. Air Force airplane graveyard. Over here, you can see the plane hangar. Now the whole thing is abandoned. There's absolutely nothing inside, but it is still cool to be out here. This is insane. Only because it's Air Force plane. It's not just, you know what I mean? It's not just any plane. <laughs> That's good over here though. Like the wind's gonna be bad, I already know it. So, it's, I mean, it's cut in half. You know, the wheels of the plane are just everywhere to top it off. Look at this, going in. It's snowing, it's super cold. Oh my God. What's good? What's up? Yeah, we're chilling right now. <laughs> this is like the warm. I feel like we're like runaways. Right? Like we're just trapped inside. We, you know, we, we escaped jail. We're gypsies. Gypsies, yeah. We're living off the land now. Legit. I mean, look out here. It's like, yeah. we gotta build a fire. But you just get this really airy atmosphere being here. Just because that, it's just getting super dark. The wind, the freaking snow. And then you just see this amazing U.S. Air Force plane right on it. This one looks like, yeah, it, it caught on fire. Or at least someone maybe lit it on fire? Don't know. I mean, it's just insane how they make them. All these electronical components just put together in mechanisms. And I'm just like, how the heck did we even think to build these? Look at that wing. Huge! Yeah, it is super cold. We're gonna go inside now. I'll show you how this thing looks. And Max Powers is in there. He's my homie. He knows more about this than me. I honestly don't know much about planes at all. So let's just get inside. It's just super cool coming up to this though, really. I've been to already like three airplane graveyards. Not as big as uh, the other ones, but this one's still cool. Max, what, what plane are we in right now? We're in a cargo plane. I'm pretty sure it's a C-130. It's got four engines. It's a turboprop aircraft, which means it has a, uh, which means it's driven by a turbine engine, which is kind of like a jet engine. And the, that turbine engine actually turns the props, uh, turboprop. Right here, we got uh, the engineer's seat. Uh, the first engineer, what they'd have is they'd have maps here uh, back in the day to navigate, and they'd also be able to uh, control some of the systems on the aircraft. These are mostly electrical systems, circuit breakers. Um, but There's they, so many, dude. Yeah. How do you even know about any of this? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean, me? Or yeah, that? you. Like. Oh, I don't know. I've just been looking at this. Oh, uh, okay, okay. And then de-icing controls for when the uh, when you're flying through ice and you gotta have uh, and the wings ice up. It affects the aerodynamics. Okay, yeah. Right, I know aircraft. about that. I know yeah. about that. And then. They'd also be able to, to monitor some of, the, some of the other systems, be able to solve problems on the aircraft. Uh, I know, my hands are so numb. Stuff. Really? Yeah, it's, it's icing out there, bro. And then up here, you'd have the, the cockpit of the aircraft. Uh, pilot would sit here, co-pilot would sit over here. And this is the prop feathering. This is kind of complicated to explain. Um, I'm not really even sure how it works, but basically it gives the pilots more control uh, over the props. Yeah. 
And there's also the yoke would be here, pretty much like the steering wheel of the aircraft. You'd be able to control the uh, the roll, like which it, which way the aircraft rolls. And then with this, the rudder pedals, you'd be able to control the yaw, so which way it kind of steers. Bad. Um, throttles are right here. Shh, full it says, speed. It says my name, Max Allen, right here. <laughs> hey, yo, what the heck? It does. <laughs>